G'day legends, it's that time of the week where Gran Turismo 7 has a fresh batch of dailies for us to race and judge. I'll rate each race out of three, nice and simple. One being rubbish, two meh, and three a good time. A couple of rules to remember, no car that's currently inside the top 10 on the global ranking board. And if we do a time trial, only one lap. Kicking things off, we've got daily A. So this week's Daily A is around WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. We've got a five lapper, only 12 cars on the grid, racing mediums required in the group fours, but only front wheel drives. Brake balance is adjustable. That's all you need to know. Looking at the global rankings, the VW is out, the Audi TT is out, Tijini there in the RCZ. Rules that one out as well. That leaves us with a few options left in the garage. Let's see what we go for. Let's go time. First one of the day, the lobby is shit itself. Anyways, quality lap was good enough for fifth. Surprisingly, don't worry about their internet connection. That's a disconnect, I think. Track limit penalty, thanks Kaz. Oh, no, he's back, there we go. Anyways. We're up in the third, I was trying to say. Track limit penalty, oh, he's back. Through the corkscrew. Only nine. We don't know where that car is. We just don't know where that car is. He's back. Not fast, mate. Talking about his internet connection, I think. Ah, oh, that's the one I got in me time trial lap. Thanks for coming. Have you worked out what car we're in? What do you reckon? We're in the Renault! We're in the McGann! Alan menu. British touring car. Toka touring car. Inspired, that's one done. We've dropped a posse. Marcos. Marcos Ambrose. Just careful of the understeer in the front wheel drive. He's hopefully my life experience of driving Hondas in my younger day. Will come up or will help out a treaty out. What do you reckon? Oh, Nelly went the Swifty. Getting aggressive, the Suzuki's getting aggressive. I'll give you one more chance, Cobra. Could be on for a podium here. Smithy! Oh, strap yourselves in, people!
P3 in the end. Not too bad of a race. We got caught up in a bit of funky business. Not the strongest lobby going around. But still super fun. Super fun. We come home in third with the fastest lap and a CRB. Clean race bonus, get in there. In terms of this race, some of you will might be, will be, turned away by the fact that this is front wheel drive racing, but screams two litre touring car series and I am all about it. Personally think the track really suits the cars. This is uh, for me. Three out of three cases. We're off the spa for the next one. Daily race B is five laps. Racing softs required in the group threes. Nothing worried about here. It's times one fuel, times one tire. Quick look at the global rankings. The Supra takes out much of the top 10. The Genesis and the GTR in there as well, leaving us plenty of options. Oh, it's a shit rolling start for us. After a shit qualifying time, and oh, this race starts shenanigans! What's going on here with the snowman, dude? Yeah. I love a sprint race on the racing soft, so we're gonna get ran wide here, but we're gonna have none of it snowy. Oh, the Subaru up the inside! I don't want to play games. Is he still there? No, he's not. We have to lift off. We're in Old Faithful. Old Faithful, come on down. Break bias two to the front. I like him to the rear, but uh, quality lap was shocking. Shocking. Straight off the bat, I probably would have liked a different uh, a different car. We've got Group 3s in Daily C. Make this something else, Kaz. Make this something else. Very much. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Oh, we're on the grass. There's more yellows. What's going on? We're up in the ninth. We haven't done anything. We don't want to be on that green stuff. Just so you know. Oh no, Snow, he's coming back at us. 1.6. Puffs of smoke up ahead, they're getting racy. Touchy, touchy. We're going to pick up some more freebies here or what? What do you reckon? Oh, penalty for. Hey, 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 mate. Oh, what's happening here, Connor? Oh, for f I don't know if that was a sorry to me or uh, someone else, but um, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Gran Turismo Daily Races. Laps to go. This is probably the part where we skip to the end. We're reeling in a few. How far can we get up the road? In such little time. We're through on the uh, Subaru K 
Kent Coda. There's more yellows. The race look. The race look dead. The race look dead. Snowman's got penalties. Stay ghosted, Snowman. I could be wrong, but I do have a bad feeling about this username, I've got to be honest. It's not manifest anything, eh? They're a good, clean racer. What are you on about? Got a mixed Ken's quite common, you know? Got a great exit. Come on, Porsche. Gotta go side by side. That'd be interesting. We're sitting dark against these things. Get this P12 back. Oh, the RCN comes around on me. Steady. Oh, no, we're wide. Understeer, we're going to go backwards. Oh, dearie me. There we go, Legends, Daily B, a disappointing, a disappointing one for me. A frustrating race, that one, from my seat. We somehow manage a CRB. I think summing this one up, honestly, racing softs get a tick, the five laps get a tick. I just, I'm not overly fond of this combo. So for me, this one's a bit meh. It's two Kazas. On to the Grand Pooba. Daily Race C. We've got a 14 lapper around Deep Forest Raceway Reverse. So look out at the hairpin. It is Group 3 Machines racing hards, racing mediums. Both are required. Things to look for is the Times 7 tyre wear. Times 2 fuel should be fine. Something else to note in this week's Daily C, we have partially allowed car settings. So partial suspension, partial differential gear and brake balance. Jumping over to the global ranking leader board, the Genesis there in P1 and P2. We've got the GTR, the Porsche is scratched out as well, but that does leave us. We're away legends, what car are we in? Very distinctive note, engine note. And probably one of... My favorite group threes to drive. Bit of argy bargy here. Argy bargy? We're in the Fezza! Let's get on. Now I've got to be honest, this is the second daily C I've done. Uh, I've done one. And the capture card was muted. So that one was in the Lambo. I did decide to change, but I'm doing the same strategy I did in that race, which was 
start on the mediums. Go as low as possible. Shit. Bit of a killer back here. We're up one posse. Mate featured in the Daily A race. Much better internet connection now. That lobby was rubbish. We lift off. Be aware of the dirty air. They go very narrow. Let's try and get a little sneaky cut back under. Smack bang in the middle of this one. Someone's left the lobby calling people dogs, you dogs. Wasn't the cleanest start, let's be honest. Setup is adjustable in this one. setup is adjustable well differential gearing and uh, and suspension I'll share with you at the end of the race what I've gone with on the Ferrari As I was saying, the hard, oh, touchy, touchy. Come on, settle down. Maybe just giving them some room after the knock. Good sportsmanship from the Ferrari. Yeah, maybe six hard, eight medium. And then if you're struggling, leaves us room. We got close. We got close. Oh, they get closer to the wall. Oh no. We've got a pen. Oh no. We're going. We're just going around for no real reason. <laughs> it might be due to the state of the rears. We're coming in. We're coming in, box, box. What's Nick on? He's on the meds as well. It's a straight up race. Oh, it's on. Oh, it's on. Same car, same strategy. We don't have a track either. We don't have a track limit. Remember the tires will be cold, out lap.
there, sticking the nose in, a little touch. Self here to man. I'll go shallow real tight. Porsche could be on the mediums. Seem to get through there very, very nice. The race has fizzled out a little bit here with the old strategy and whatnot. So let me take you on a lap, a rough one. We'll lift a little, dab of the brake, braking hard at the 100 board. Staying wide to cut back in here, get it rotated so we can gas it on exit. Exit, hugely important as we go down this uh, long back straight. Exit the tunnel, the part on the brakes at the start of the curb for me. Let it rotate, don't be too eager. We could have used a bit more space out there. A little lift up in the fourth. Cut this, but not too much. There's track limits, there's track limits here too. Don't cut too much. I'm on the brakes just as we enter that tunnel. Probably didn't get it rotated enough. Again, at the white line, I'm on the brakes. Careful of the oversteer. Just get through here, feather the throttle if you can. Oh, there's someone around! Just as the tyre barriers. Start on the left there, we're on the brakes. I'd like to take a V through there, but that uh, was not a V. And a 29, our best is a 28. I think a low 28, set on lap three on the medium, so. Too bad on the hards, and we're up in the fourth. P4 in daily race. See you, little ripper. You see there, 20 minute race, or almost 21 minute race. I think that is perfect for a daily C. And let me know in the comments, hopefully we weren't too hard on. Old Nicky boy there in P7. P4 in the end, up from P8, up four posies. This was a good one in terms of results, but this is a good time in terms of daily races. We've got two tire compounds. I think there's good options in terms of cars. These cars also suit this layout and, and this track. It's hard for me to give this anything but three out of three cases. Thanks for watching. As always, legends, this week's dailies are a ton of fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. Stay rad.